been a while since I did a chicken video. I've been kind of waiting for them to all start coming outside so I can get a better look at them, but there's one breed that never seems to come outside, so I get kind of tired of waiting. So they're spread out right now. I may have to do this in a few pieces and patch them together later. This one right here is one of the old girls. She's about three and a half years old. She's the Americana, the one that lays the green eggs. Um, she's sitting up here on the porch right now. She tends to kind of run around by herself. I have the one older rooster and three older hens left, so they kind of run together, but then every once in a while she'll be off by herself like this. Um, she kind of took the summer off, the hot time for laying eggs, didn't lay any for a few months, and now she's back to laying again. Um, coming up here behind me, there is a speckled Sussex, the one on the left. And they vary a little bit. Some of them have more white than others. Um, but I think they're they're pretty well full grown. They haven't started laying eggs yet. I haven't gotten any eggs out of the young ones quite yet. But I should soon. So she should be laying eggs before too long. Of the egg layers, they seem to be the most adventurous. They come up here. They've started coming up here in the last week or so, roaming around up here around the house. And then behind her here, is a dark Cornish. There are the roosters that'll be meat here in a few weeks. Um, they're getting pretty good sized. I weighed one a couple weeks ago and he was just about five pounds. I'd like to see him get to about eight before we butcher him. Um, they're definitely the most adventurous of all the young ones. They they come running out in the morning, quite a few of them, and, and roam around. Um, they're getting a little Fancy, just having so many roosters in the same place. Um, they bicker and fight a bit and um, work on their pecking order quite a bit. So that's what all these that's what all these completely black ones are. These are the dark Cornish roosters. So I'll move on down here toward the barn. And there's some more outside down here. And most of them outside will be the dark Cornish, um, although there's another speckled Sussex standing there on the wall. And next to her on the wall, if she doesn't run away, is the golden laced Wyandotte, um, the brown one there, kind of a reddish brown. Um, see if I can kind of head her off. And they're they're nice looking birds too. I think they'll. I think all these hens will fill out a little more especially after they start laying eggs and I have I got 10 of each of those breeds along with 50 of the of the dark Cornish um, I don't think I have 10 of any of them left yet um, I think all in all I ended up losing about 15 chicks and I haven't gotten they move around too much inside the barn to get a good count and uh, so I don't know exactly what I have of each anymore but Somewhere around seven or eight of each of those, um, each of those egg-laying breeds. Hopefully the roosters aren't drowning me out too badly here. Um, standing in the doorway, there's a couple more speckled Sussex. Nice-looking birds. Standing behind them, I don't know if he'll show up in the video. I don't know if he'll show up in the video in the dark back there, but standing behind them is my my older rooster, the Bard Rock. He's really filled out and gotten to be nice looking. Um, I was hoping he'd be out here so I could get a good look at him on the video, but uh, maybe he'll come out after I go in there. So I'm going to go inside now and see if I can shoot some of the ones that are inside. These light colored ones here, these light colored ones are the Americanas. Um, for whatever reason, they don't come outside yet. Um, I figure maybe being light colored, they're a little more afraid of predators, afraid of hawks and that kind of thing. So they're staying inside. Uh, they seem content enough, so I guess it's alright. I'd like to see them outside finding bugs and, and seeds and things, but so far they stay inside. They have that kind of... They have that kind of beard or mane around their necks that makes them look a little funny. But they'll be the ones laying the blue and green eggs here before long. Um, 
bottom. There's one standing there kind of in the sun. Maybe you can get a good look at her. So they just pretty much, they hang out in here and, and eat and drink in here. And um, one of these days, maybe I'll, one of these days when I want to clean in here, maybe I'll, maybe I'll chase them all outside. So I'll head back outside now where it's hopefully a little less noisy. And there's the big guy, as I call him. And uh, there's other two older girls here. They tend to roam around together and they're not afraid to come outside. They spend spend the day outside except for the hottest, sunniest part. And uh, he's really filled out since I got him. He looks real, looks real nice now. It's hard to believe he's mostly just bones under there, but uh, he sure has sure has plenty of feathers. Um, if he's still around next year, I might even try to take him to take him to a show or something because he just really looks good. He's definitely the the boss of his little kingdom here. And he's crowing a lot to tell me I need to stop bothering him. So, I guess that's it for the chickens for now. And maybe now I'll go do one of the garden.